here on this Thursday. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg at our site. And the starting lineup for the Timberwolves. Edwards on the wing. He's joined by McDaniels. Gobert is out there with Randall. And it's Conley in at the point guard position. And for Los Angeles, the guard spot's filled by Russell and Reeves. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. And it's Hachimura in at the small forward. There should be plenty of action down in the painted area tonight, Greg, with the big man matchup in this one. Yeah, I, I love to see skilled bigs dueling down low. Kind of a throwback in some ways, but there's still plenty of physicality in the modern game. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration even for a nanosecond. The jump hook rebounded by the Timberwolves. Boy, great effort on defense there against a guy who typically makes that. Randall no good. And here are the Lakers. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What you got for us, D.A.? Hey, Kevin, briefly spoke with J.J. Redick, and we talked about the bruising big man, Julius Randle. He told me Julius sets the tone Julius for them with his physicality. So we have to try and match that. We can't let him bully his way into the lane and get to his spots. We have to make him uncomfortable. Kevin? Thank you, David. Davis with the bucket. I know Davis would prefer to get it inside, but he's making the most of his mid-range chance. And you can never really count out these Los Angeles Lakers, Greg, can you? No, I, I really don't think you can. They, they battle out of the play-in tournament. They overcome obstacles, and they have tremendous willpower. Here's Reeves. Great tee that time from Edwards. Timberwolves have gone just one of four to get this game started. <laughs> Offensive rebound. Gobert. Good work there as it goes. The endless reach of Gobert. Those long arms sometimes seems like he's everywhere. An overwhelming presence on the offensive line. Two minutes remain in the first. Two minutes. James up top. He's defended by Randall. We passed year 20 for LeBron James. Uh, Clark, how is he still doing this? Well, I'd love to find out, but he's got a combination of remarkable DNA and obviously a tremendous work ethic and attention to detail and taking care of his body. But some of it is it's a blend of um, good fortune and a lot of hard work. But he's played at a Take level a at his age that I never thought I'd uh, see in basketball. It's different in other sports, but to do what he's doing on the court is amazing. He's off on the first. There's always a surprise, isn't there, Clark, in the offseason? Let's go back to 2022. That offseason, the Timberwolves going all in on Rudy Gobert. Basically, Kevin, they traded five first plus a bunch of good players for Gobert. It was derided at the time, and I can understand why, but Rudy's defense has taken them to another level, and he's actually been a little better offensively than people thought he would be. Edwards kicks to Gobert. Conley against Russell. Gobert trying to get open, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Russell. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Jackson A's, he's checked in for Davis. Vanderbilt comes in for LeBron. Reddish, he's checked in for Rui Hachimura. And Vincent subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. And then for Minnesota. Reed, he's checked in for Gobert. Joe Ingles comes in for Randall. And Nikhil Alexander-Walker in for Edwards. Carly, 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 Carly. 136 left here in the first quarter. Now here's Conley. Defense is right there. And the wide open shot from Reed. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Sharp recognition that time by Conley. Tell you what, he always makes the right play. Here's Vincent. Over by Conley. From 18 feet away, Vanderbilt. And another shot. And the layup is good. Yeah, yeah coaches pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. You've got to work harder on the glass. Conley, the pass to Reed. 
The three for DiVincenzo. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Wright. The pass to Christie. Let's it go with a three. Reed with the rebound. Now here is Conley, defended by Vincent. Back to Conley. 15 seconds left to play in the first. Here's Alexander Walker. Plenty of room around him, and it's good. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Vincent with it. Three seconds left, and he hits the jump shot. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Timberwolves lead by two. We'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Timberwolves? You got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. Christie is out there with Russell. And it's Hachimura in at the three, the small forward. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. Of all the great ball handlers, Clark, in the NBA, Russell's got to be right there at the top of the list. And the thing that impresses me, Kevin, is how smooth he makes it look and how effortless it appears. Even at full speed, he can make moves that most guys can't even imagine. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Kevin, thank you very much. Anthony Davis broke his defense down for me. He said, I can block shots. Switch on to anybody, guard the pick and roll, I can guard the post, I can guard the pin down. So that's my ability. My ability defensively is to do everything. Kevin? And he does everything. David, thank you so much. And he'll kick to DiVincenzo. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Gobert. And Davis pulls it down. And so it's Davis throwing the ball up for the Lakers. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Here's Russell. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Here's Edwards. Bursting off the floor. Edwards hammers it down. Defense gets burned by Edwards' ball handling ability. I mean, this guy is athletic and can really move. Pass to Christie. Over Edwards. Bank shot. No good. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. Greg, this is some kind of no. Last year, Minnesota, had, for just the second time, had ever won a series in the postseason. Yeah, they've been bounced in the first round 10 of 12 appearances. But last year's team was different. Their elite defense fueled the conference finals run. And Randall throws it down. Boy, what a throwdown by the well-built 6'9 Julius Randall with power. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Drawing fouls, Clark getting to the line. All part of the game. But do you think players try and draw fouls too often now? I do in some cases, but I think it's more on an individual basis. I mean, players have to do what they need to do to try to score the ball. But I don't think anybody likes, one, guys flopping the draw fouls, and then two, whining when fouls aren't called. And we've got a lineup change here for the Lakers. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Nas Reed, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Joe Ingles comes in for Julius Randle. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for McDaniels. And it's Conley in for Dante DiVincenzo. The wide open look here for Wood. Nails the wide open jump shot. Wood's got it all tied up now for the Lakers. Outside Conley. 
Past Ingles. And uh, 101 left in the second quarter. A clear look for Reed. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Here's Reeves, defended by Alexander Walker. From deep, Wood. Reed with the rebound. Timberwolves have gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Edwards passes to Ingles. Now here is Conley. He's guarded closely. And here's Edwards from the arc. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And no need to rush this. Let the clock run down. Yeah, don't give them another possession here. Wood at the elbow. Now Reeves puts up a deep three. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Minnesota on top, leading by just two. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. AD, you see how they're playing you in the first half. What's the adjustment going to be? So, you know, we got to come out with a great intensity, and it starts in warm-up. So we got to come out uh, with a great intensity, great mindset, and talk out there and win the third quarter. I have never heard anyone say it starts in warm-ups until now. Thanks, AD. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports. It was a closely contested first quarter for Minnesota. And trying as they might, they couldn't. And that's a... And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. The Lakers trail. And on the floor for Chris Finch as we get into the second half. Conley and Edwards are the guards. McDaniels is out there with Julius Randle. And it's Gobert in at the five down low. Minnesota shooting 39% from the floor at their best. One thing about the Lakers, Clark, over the last couple seasons, <laughs> they get themselves to the free throw line. Yeah, and a lot of that is due to the fact they've got some real creators in their lineup, guys who can attack off the dribble at multiple positions from multiple angles. And that creates pressure for the defense. And, you know, we need to keep seeing this from him. It's encouraging to see him sink the mid-range J there. Davis kicks to James. From downtown, Randall grabs the board. Here's the break. Great to that time from Davis. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Russell finds Davis. Shot clock at six. Is absorbing the contact. Oh, I tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Kevin, thank you very much. The Timberwolves have become a rough and rugged team. Swingman Jaden McDaniel said, we don't let nobody push us around. We're always being physical defensively. I feel like we're a tough team. Super tough. Kevin, they certainly have the size to hold their own. Always being physical. But, David, that's their identity. And we thank you for the report. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Outside, Edward. Got a piece of it. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. 
You know, Davis is so long and strong inside, he almost forces you to foul. Los Angeles, they have not yet made a free throw in the game, 0 of 2 so far. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. And that one falls for Anthony Davis. You know, Greg, when you look at the Timberwolves history, the first round had been a problem for them. But not last year, as they swept the Phoenix Suns. And you got to look at it as being a tremendous success, right? Because going into the season, I don't know that anyone thought they would have made it to the conference finals. But boy, that young group gelled well together and the sky's the limit for the future. It, it's been a really good day for him at the line. Some other bigs have well-documented problems on their free throws. He's not one of them. He'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blows. His first personal foul. First team foul. Minnesota shooting their first free throw. Shooting first trip to the line in this one. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. Shooting two. No good on that one. And the Lakers with some changes. Christian Wood comes in for Anthony Davis. And Vincent subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. He hits the second from the line. Yeah, one more make would have been nice, but they do walk away with the lead. Here's Vincent, defended by Alexander Walker. Christie, the pass to Vanderbilt. Good work defensively by Engel. Minnesota in the lead. One fourteen left in the third quarter. McDaniels kicks to DiVincenzo. Back to McDaniel. 